So I have been using Google Gemini as my you know, main go-to AI chatbot. But after the release of GPT-40, things have changed. Have you seen these demos by OpenAI on YouTube on the new GPT-40? Now ChatGPT can do really cool things. Yeah, you should go and uh, watch these videos. There are many demos and all the demos look insane. And we also get to know how powerful chat GPT have become after the release of GPT 4.0. One of the best feature in chat GPT is the live conversation. And there is no other AI which can compete with chat GPT. It's that good. It was good even before the GPT 4.0, but now it's like better. After the release of GPT 4.0, chat gpt can surf the internet so now it has the real-time data whatever you ask it can search on the internet and it can give you the answers back which is insane and guess what it's all for free and you also technically kind of get gpt4 for free yes all the free users can enjoy gpt4 features no subscription required so i i want to give you guys this demo i'm always like really impressed by the live conversation of uh, uh, chat gpt now take a look at this demo you're gonna be amazed there is no other ai that can do this okay <laughs> this is just insane so i have one friend who only speaks japanese can you do translation for me sure i'd be happy to help with that <laughs> what would you like to say to your friend i just want to say uh do you like Naruto anime? I really like that anime, especially the character Kakashi Hatake and Might Guy. You know, they are really cool. Here's how you can say that in Japanese. Naruto no anime ga suki desu ka? Watashi wa kono anime ga honto ni suki desu. Toku ni Kakashi Hatake to Might Guy toyu character ga sugoku kakko ii desu desu yo ne? Watashi kono anime ga honto ni suki desu. Oh, that's really cool. So if we talk right now, can you do like live translation? Uh, I speak in English and you do the uh, English to Japanese translation and he speaks in Japanese. And can you do the Japanese to English? Yes, I can help with that. Let's give it a try. What would you like to say first? Uh, Actually, I don't have friends, okay? This was just to test whether you could do it or not. So, I'm really impressed. No worries at all. I'm glad I could help. If you ever need translations or anything else, just let me know. Wow. This is just insane. I'm using the free chat GPT, okay? Uh, I'm gonna go GPT here. You can see get GPT plus. You can see at the top. So, I'm using gpt chat gpt free version no subscription and this thing is insane okay now let's try to do this with the gemini so i have one friend who only speaks japanese uh, uh can you do translation for me translation apps try using translation apps like google translate or first of all it's really slow uh in response like you know it's not as fast as the chat gpt Okay, we, we can get away with that. Microsoft Translator. These apps... Okay, it didn't understand what I was trying to do. <laughs> okay, I have tried it a couple of times before. Uh, it never works. Okay, so in terms of like the... As we all know, Google has this Google Assistant, which already is replaced by the Google Gemini now. So anytime you say, hey, Google, it opens up the Gemini. You know, the Google Assistant was good. One of the best assistant app out there. But now, ChatGPT, like, just blows my mind. There is nothing to compare with ChatGPT, especially now with the new update, GPT-4.0, and you get the uh, free access to the GPT-4 plus uh, the surfing the internet. Uh, let's have another example, actually. Uh, do you have real-time data access now? Yes, I can access real-time data. And is there something specific you're looking for? 
So I was wondering, what is the weather like in uh, Mount Everest right now, today? I'm sorry, but I can't provide real-time data on the current weather conditions at Mount Everest. You might want to check a reliable weather website or app for the latest updates. Okay, that was kind of bummer, but uh, can you tell me the today's weather of New York City, I guess? Of course. Let me check the current weather in New York City for you. As of today, the weather in New York City is partly cloudy with a high of 68 degrees Sierra, 20 to low, and a low of 54 to be at 12 least. There's a slight chance of rain later in the evening. So how's the weather in Mount Everest? I'm sorry, but I'm unable to provide real-time weather updates for Mount Everest. However, Mount Everest generally has extremely cold temperatures and harsh weather conditions due to its high altitude, with temperatures often well below freezing. Okay, I think I chose the wrong, you know, place <laughs> for the weather forecast for this, you know, AI. Uh, I don't know, but it works, okay? It has the real-time data access now, as it said. Now let's try this with the Google Gemini. In Mount Everest, there'll be snow showers with a high of minus 14 and a low of minus 22. Currently, it's minus 16 and part... Okay, it works in Google. And it is pulling out the weather information from the weather.com. So I feel like still, the chat GPT has limited access to the internet. Maybe because I'm using the free plan. You know, having conversation with ChatGPT is a lot better than Google Gemini. In Google Gemini, you still have to use your mic or you have to say the hot word, okay, if you want to keep the conversation going. But with the ChatGPT, you know, it's fast, really responsive, like the fastest, you know, assistant out there, to be honest. Okay, let's let's do one more thing. So uh, do you know when is the Boruto season two or maybe season three, not too sure, is coming? As of my last update, Boruto Naruto Next Generations has been ongoing, but I don't have information about specific release dates for upcoming seasons beyond what was available until January, 2022. You might want to check official announcements or reliable sources for the latest updates on new seasons of the anime. Let me be honest here, okay? When I last time used ChatGPT, it was going insane. Maybe uh, they did something with the ChatGPT in last 24 hours. So here is the thing. I was uh, trying to make a video on this topic yesterday and uh, I was testing both Gemini and ChatGPT at the same time. And uh, the way ChatGPT replied to me, the information that I got was just insane. I asked the exact question yesterday to the ChatGPT and the answer was totally different. I even asked what's happening in the manga and it gave me details about, you know, the return of Kurama in like smaller form, like a baby Kurama or something. And it also gave me a release date of it, probably from the internet, from different articles. I also did the double check. The answers were actually matching with some of the articles out there. I don't know what happened, but as soon as I asked those questions related to Boruto release date and everything, uh, I couldn't use ChatGPT uh, voice conversation for almost like 12 hours. I had no, you know, this uh, headphone icon <laughs> for almost 12 hours. Okay, maybe more than that. And uh, this morning I woke up and checked. Now it has the headphone icon. Now it feels like it is trying to be strict about how it gives the answer uh, to the sum of the questions. Okay, it's not going all out now. <laughs> so I don't know what's going on here, but that's something that actually happened to me when I used ChatGPT. Okay, let's do it one more time. So do you know a, there is a YouTube channel called Kilobit? Yes, there is a YouTube channel called Kilobit. They focus on technology related content, including reviews, tutorials, and discussions about various gadgets and software. Are you a fan of their content? Yeah. Uh, Yes, I am fan, big fan actually. <laughs> so what is the latest video from them? I don't have access to real-time data, including the latest videos from specific YouTube channels like Kilobit. However, you can easily check their channel directly on YouTube to see their newest uploads. Even though it can browse the internet, but still it is limited to what it can do. 
maybe only for free users to get like full features and full browsing experience, you may have to get the uh, premium plan. So recently I have been learning uh, Linux and uh, uh, first I installed Debian. It was good. Now I'm, uh, I'm on Arch Linux and I'm having some troubles. So can you help me with that? Sure, I can try to help. What kind of troubles are you experiencing with Arch Linux? Let's see if we can troubleshoot together. So, you know, there is this thing called, uh, you know, windowing system, X11 and Wayland. I want to use Wayland and I have the NVIDIA graphics card. As soon as I, you know, install the NVIDIA drivers, it goes to the X11 windowing system automatically. And there is no way to switch to Wayland. So how do I use Wayland? Because I want to use Wayland. Plus, again, as I said, I have the NVIDIA graphics card. Ah, I see what you're saying. Using Wayland with NVIDIA graphics cards can be a bit tricky because NVIDIA's proprietary drivers don't fully support it yet. However, there are some workarounds you can try. One option is to use the open source Nouveau drivers instead of the NVIDIA proprietary drivers. Nouveau has better Wayland support, but it may not provide the same level of performance as the proprietary drivers. Another option is to use a hybrid approach called Prime Render Offload. This allows you to use the NVIDIA GPU for rendering while still using Wayland for the desktop environment. You'll need to configure your system to use this mode, which involves setting environment variables and modifying your Xorg configuration. Keep in mind that using Wayland with NVIDIA graphics on Linux may not provide the same level of stability or performance as using X11. It's still a work in progress, so you may encounter issues or limitations. Would you like more detailed instructions on how to? Oh, thank you for that. So you can do detailed tutorial, right? So I have heard that there is, uh, you know, official Wayland support coming from the NVIDIA. Is it true? Can you check the internet for me? I'm unable to browse the internet in real time, but as of my last update, NVIDIA has been working on improving Wayland support for their graphics drivers. However, I don't have specific information about an official release with full Wayland support. It's best to keep an eye on NVIDIA's official announcements or forums for any updates regarding Wayland support for their drivers. Okay, thank you. I'll, you know, talk to you later uh, when I'm in Arch Linux. We're going to troubleshoot Arch Linux together. That's it for now. Sounds good. Feel free to reach out anytime you need help with Arch Linux or anything else. I'll be here to assist you. Have a great time troubleshooting and talk to you later. You know, as an AI assistant, you know, this thing is insane. In case I don't know why it keeps saying that I don't I can't browse the Internet. I think it has to do with the free version because I'm using the free one and it has some limitations for browsing Internet. OK. So I'm going to start a new conversation and let's see what it says. Okay. Can you uh, surf the internet or do you have real time data access? I can't surf the internet or access real time data. My knowledge comes from a vast data set that I was trained on, but I can't pull in information from the web or update my knowledge in real time. You heard it in the beginning of this video that it has the real time data access what happened i think it's just limited okay i'm gonna try this one more time how's the weather in florida today the weather in florida varies depending on which part you're interested in generally it's warm and sunny okay i'm not getting it uh, okay it is so confusing it gave me weather information earlier but now it's not i was thinking completely switching to and, you know, chat GPT and forget about Gemini, just like I did with the Windows Copilot, the Microsoft Copilot, actually. It's been like more than a month or two. I haven't touched uh, the Microsoft Copilot. I think for most of the real-time data, I still have to use the uh, Google Gemini, okay? There is no other way or I have to get the premium plan of chat GPT. Uh, again, as I said, watch the recent videos on GPT-4.0. You'll be amazed to see what chat gpt can do now even in free version you can do live translation as you talk with the other people which is just insane and it works really fast for now i feel like there is no competition for chat gpt it's way ahead of 
anything out there like gemini you know the microsoft copilot which is basically a chat gpt but works weirdly okay uh you know google and microsoft should also you know have this type of you know voice conversation feature you know that would be just insane uh that's it <laughs> hope you enjoyed it if you still have any questions or you want to discuss something you can always do the comment and uh, yeah that's it i'll see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun bye bye